planet Earth has a lot of mysterious creatures and there's no doubt that we haven't discovered every species just yet. Who knows what animals might exist deep within the jungles of the Congo? Could some of these sightings even possibly be visitors from another world? Today we're going to take a look at strange sightings of mythical creatures. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Swamp Monsters Legends of swamp monsters existing in the Louisiana Bayou have circulated since the French settled this region back in the 1600s. It also dates back to the Native American tribes as well. The Cajun people know it as the Rougarou. This creature is said to be a werewolf that inhabits the swampy lands around the southeastern area of Louisiana. It's been passed down quite often as a vocal legend, so it's a little bit difficult to know exactly what the original sighting was. Some claim that it's a human-like creature with the head of a wolf, while others believe it's a blood-sucking vampire-type creature that was created under the spell of voodoo. The story has possibly evolved to keep children of the bayou in check and keep them from going out all night. Whatever the case may be, there's still a ton of large alligators, panthers, and brain-eating amoebas out there that could get you if the swamp monster doesn't. Number 10. The Rosendale Fairies a professor from the UK got a lot of attention when he took a photo of what he thought were insects. After the photos were developed, he was shocked at what he was looking at. The photo didn't appear to be bugs at all, but humanoid creatures with wings. Skeptics were quick to call everything a hoax and found it mysterious that he could be able to get such a high quality photo of these creatures. While it may seem like common sense that fairies don't exist, take a look at the photos for yourself. The respectable professor still claims authenticity to the photos, what do you believe? Number 9. The Tatzel Worm The Tatzel Worm are lizard-like creatures that reportedly only live in the uninhabited regions of the Alps. Although many sightings vary, they're normally about 2 to 5 feet long, with the head of a cat and a wide mouth. Their forearms are short and stubby, but with long, sharp claws. The rest of its body looks like that of a snake or long tail. Sightings have been made in all parts of the Alps, and they even have a different name in each country that contains the Alps, meaning all these cultures have made sightings. They're reportedly aggressive and will attack upon contact with a human. Hikers claim to have come across a skeleton of one like you see here in this photo and was given to a medical student, but no conclusion was made. Number 8. The Mapinguari The Mapinguari is a legendary cryptid that lives in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil and is described as an ape-like creature with red fur. Some claim it only has one eye with long claws and resembles an ape or a ground-dwelling sloth. It can stand about 7 feet tall on its 2 feet. Legend has it that neither bullets or arrows can penetrate the Mapinguari's tough hide. Some claim that this is actually a sloth, and the skin samples from the prehistoric sloths revealed extremely tough skin, which will explain its bulletproof-like capabilities. In 1937, a report from a Brazilian claimed that the Mapinguari went on a 3-week rampage, killing over 100 cows. Number 7. Black-Eyed Children we all know there is something slightly unsettling about children with no parents walking around at night. A real person and well-known Texan journalist by the name of Brian Bethel had an unsettling experience with black-eyed children while writing a check in his car in Abilene, Texas. They knocked on the window to the driver's side, but he couldn't see their eyes since they were covered with a hoodie. He rolls down the window and one of the boys says that they need to ride home in order to go see a movie. Although the conversation just seemed normal, for some reason Brian felt an overwhelming feeling of horror. Brian looked at the time and realized that the last movie showing at the theater had already ended at least an hour ago. As Brian hesitated, the boy talking got a little bit more pushy and reached for the lock of the door. Brian finally realized that both of the children had pitch black eyes, no iris, and no pupils. Some claim that these are the ghosts of children who lost their lives from trusting strangers. Number 6. Leprechaun Leprechauns are portrayed as some kind of Irish fairy, normally with beards, wearing a hat, and more often than not, are spotted with a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. The legend goes, if you capture a leprechaun, you get three wishes before the exchange for releasing him, but catching one certainly seems difficult. But you never know when you might have the luck of the Irish and stumble upon his gold. This one here looks like he's not going to give up his lucky charms without a fight. But is it possible that they've actually been spotted in the past? NBC reported on a leprechaun sighting that happened in Mobile, Alabama, which you can see on YouTube. Many eyewitnesses agreed that it looked like what a leprechaun should look like, but in a tree of one of the neighborhoods. They stated that he was a little person, only about 2 feet tall, only came out at night, and would run away if you shine a light at him. An amateur sketch artist came up with this photo, which basically looks like a leprechaun. During the interview, the residents seemed to be very convinced of what they saw, but you almost have to believe it's real. Number 5. Conga Mato Africa is a vast, mysterious place with many dense forest stations in the center of the continent. 
It wasn't long before explorers to this uncharted territory began to get a little bit frightened by what mysterious unknown creatures could be out there. One of them was what was known as a Kongamato, which is allegedly a massive pterodactyl-like creature that flies through the jungles of the Congo and attacks people's boats. They would come from the sky and peck at anyone trying to float around on the rivers there. Most of the legends came from locals until 1956, when finally an engineer sighted a creature that was described as a flying creature with a wingspan of about 4 to 7 feet. The next year, another adventurer came to the area in the Banuelo swamps with a claw wound to the chest. He was rather convinced that this animal was prehistoric. Could some large animals have possibly survived the mass extinction that took place millions of years ago? Or is everyone just slightly delusional? Number 4. Mermaids Could sightings of mermaids really stretch as far back as the ancient Babylonians? Apparently so. This seems to be the first mention of fish-human hybrids in mythology, but definitely wouldn't be the last. There is also a demigod known as Apkalu, who is described as being part fish, part human. Throughout many cultures, sightings of mermaids have taken place, even up to the age of exploration. While he might not have the best reputation out there anymore, but if it helps the credibility of mermaids, let's talk about it. Christopher Columbus reported seeing three mermaids while on an expedition near the Dominican Republic, but his description would lead many to believe that it was actually a manatee. He said they weren't quite as beautiful as he thought. The description of Henry Hudson's sighting seemed to be much more human-like, describing her hair and the rest of her body which looked like a dolphin. Number 3. Unicorns Many people have pondered the possibility of unicorns secretly existing in the Hermit Kingdom. Finally, the North Korean government has come forth about the truth. Here in this photo, we see the fossilized remains of the first unicorn ever discovered, which proves the greatness of North Korea. Archaeologists found a lair containing unicorns in the tomb of the ancient Korean king of Tang Mayang. He ruled a kingdom located in modern-day North Korea and China. His tomb is actually one of the North Korean UNESCO World Heritage Sites, so it would be fitting to find a unicorn here. While some believe the North Korean reports were lost in translation, it does prove to be an important archaeological dig site. Number 2. The Black Shuck The Black Shuck is a ghostly black dog that's been said to roam around the coastlines of eastern England. They've been known to haunt the forests, cemeteries, and bodies of water. Just because archaeologists haven't dug up the bones out of the ground doesn't mean that they don't exist. If someone sees them, it seems as though it's an omen that their end is near. The dog is described as being about the size of a horse. While some describe them as being evil, others claim they can be quite friendly and have even helped lost people find their way out of the forest. Most likely, if you saw a dog the size of a horse, you'd run away from it, right? So what are the odds a giant dog lives in the forest in England? Great Danes have been known to grow up to 7 feet on two legs. Possibly a pack of Great Danes like we see here managed to flourish in the area, which have been mistaken as Black Shuck. It's still very possible to sight a black shuck in East Anglia on a dark night. And before we get to our number one, we'd like to hear from you guys. Which mythical creature do you think actually exists? Let us know in the comments section and we will feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, the Naga. The Naga is a deity that takes the form of a great snake and normally has human facial features. This is often found in Indian religions, including Buddhism and Hinduism. In the language of Sanskrit, there are several words that are used to mean snake. In many cultures, the snake is often looked at as a conniving creature in mythology, but not so much in Indian culture. Sometimes they're even portrayed as protagonists. In Hinduism, they're considered to be the protectors of the springs, wells, and rivers. But they can also be the ones to bring destruction in some cases, and the ones to blame for floods and droughts. In Buddhist traditions, Nagas are thought to have magic powers that allow them to shapeshift into humans. In Cambodian tradition, they talk about a race of reptilians that were under the rule of King Kaliya. These are often portrayed on temples in Angkor Wat too. A Naga was apparently sighted in 2014 by a man who was fishing near his home in Thailand. 